What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Really excited to have you. The next couple of weeks are gonna be incredible. We're gonna be showing you different videos from the trip that we're going to, to Dubai. And I'm gonna try my best, as I did mention last week, we're gonna be using the iPhone 12 Pro Max in order to be recording most of the videos. And I'm gonna try my best to do the best quality that I can is once again, this is gonna be our first time going to Dubai. Unfortunately, the things that I've read online, they're kind of strict with certain things. So I want to make sure that we abide by all the local laws and things like that. Uh, with that said, though, we are going to be going to a few places and you guys are going to be seeing them throughout the next couple of weeks. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, think the quality of the videos, the quality of the food and the places that we've been to because I'm really excited. With that said, before we head on this trip to go to Dubai, we wanted to leave on a sweet note. So I there is this ice cream place that's located in Orlando and I actually have seen it in other places all over Florida. And the reason I'm showing you guys, you guys this place is for two reasons. One, it is some of the most affordable and most delicious soft served ice cream you will ever have in Florida. And two, it's really, really affordable and it looks amazing for kids because the freaking building is the shape of a large ice cream cone and it's awesome. Now, in Florida, there's a place called Twisty Treat that is basically giant ice cream cones and when you go there, you already know that that's what they are and you have some ice cream. The one that we're going to today, I think used to be a Twisty Treat, but the location was bought out by another company and... However, I'm guessing they retain the machines and things like that, but the freaking ice cream is just really, really good. And in my um, opinion, I like this place because I feel like they're just, the customer service there is really, really good. With that said, we're gonna be heading over there. I wanna show you guys this because this location is actually right off of a major highway. So if you're coming to Florida, and you're in Orlando, it's a great place to visit with the kids. It's a great way to end the day, or it's a great way to you know, cool down in a hot afternoon without having to pay those extravagant pr uh, prices near the parks. So we're gonna be heading over there. We're just gonna have a, a, thinking a waffle cone twist with like some toppings or maybe a topping just to show you guys. But if this is a place that you guys are gonna have to go yourselves and try. So I have a friend of mine that actually mentioned that Twisty Treat is something that's unique to Florida. I wasn't 100% sure, so I went ahead and I tried to Google Twisty Treat all over in like other states and different areas and stuff, and I just couldn't find any. So I'm not sure if they have this in other states. This is a large chain in Florida. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have seen it elsewhere. But first things first, we're going to go ahead and hit a haircut, get ready for this trip, and then we're going to go ahead and cool down because it's a really hot day today. So we're going to cool down at this ice cream shop, and I'll see you guys there. We are here and we made it. This is the famous, amazing ice cream place that I told you guys about here in Orlando. Um, it's been pretty much around here for a very, very long time. I believe all the 13, actually 14 years now that I've been here in Orlando, this place has been standing. And the most amazing thing is the prices, even though there's inflation, have barely gone up. And it's just, there's always someone here. Every time you come, even when it's pouring down raining, there's cars parked around the area and they're all having some ice cream in their cars. Um, it actually cooled down significantly from the time that we left the house to the time that we got here, um, but it's still pretty warm, so it's still gonna hit in the right spot. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some ice cream. I've already decided. I'm actually gonna go and get a swirl, chocolate and vanilla ice cream in a waffle cone with chocolate sprinkles as a topping and then we're gonna get another ice cream in a second. I'm thinking of getting like maybe a small cup with chocolate and, uh, or maybe just vanilla and maybe some Oreo crumbs or something like that. You know, you have your typical ice cream flavors and then there's a whole bunch of toppings that we'll, took, we'll look over in a second, but it's just, it's not about that. It's about being able to take a relaxing time outside of a large ice cream cone with the kids after either having a long day at the park or just, if you, you know, if you live here, if you want to just have a nice, refreshing little afternoon sitting outside um, in the fresh air. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, so we finally got our ice creams. This place, a whole bunch of people just showed up, but you guys can see them in the background. It's got really full, so we got really lucky in the time that we arrived because I went straight in line. So we got two ice creams today. I was going to get the one that I told you guys about, which is the swirl with the chocolate sprinkles, but the guy's like, hey, you know what? I want you to try these new flavors that we have out. So there's something called a flavor burst, as you guys can see here. So this is a pistachio and pita ice cream. 
Um, it's basically vanilla swirl with a pistachio flavor burst, and then it's covered in peanuts because that's the topping that I wanted. He had like almonds, and he had a whole bunch of other things. Like, you could do chocolate sprinkles. I mean, you guys saw in the beginning of the video where I showed you. But then we have this other one that's nice and simple. And this here is the Rice Krispie Sunday. So it has a lot of marshmallow, it has vanilla ice cream, it has whipped cream, and then it has half of a Rice Krispie right on top, which is freaking cool. So first things first, we gotta take a look at these close up because these look delicious. Even though it's cool out, it's still kind of humid, it's still kind of hot. So I'm pretty excited to try these out and see what they taste like. All right, so this ice cream first, as you guys can see, it is melting, it's Florida, so you can't really hold on to them for too long because it starts making a mess. But you have, it's a nice uh, vanilla ice cream, you have that green stuff, which is actually flavor burst is what they call it, but it's pistachio flavored mixed in with the vanilla, and then you're surrounded by these nice, good, thick sized pieces of peanuts, which I'm really excited to try out since I love peanut on ice creams. I just feel like that nuttiness adds a lot to the creaminess of the ice cream itself. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So this is melting, so let's go ahead and have this. Mm. Mm. So, as always, the vanilla is so creamy. The ice cream here, just in general, even though it's soft served, it's just so well made, so creamy in flavor. But the peanuts taste really fresh. Mix it in with that pistachio in the background, it's very slight. It really complements the nuttiness of the peanuts, and it just it just tastes so freaking good. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is just dripping right now. And it's only been like what three minutes since we got this and then it's already melting everywhere. Next thing though, we gotta try this other ice cream, which is the Rice Krispie Sundae. Let's go ahead and check it out up close just to see how it is. So it's half of an entire Rice Krispie. You have Rice Krispies meat mixed within the ice cream. You have nice home, basically locally made here, whipped cream. And then you have the actual vanilla mixed in with marshmallow topping on it. Oh man, that looks really good. And this is a decent size. And to be honest, I asked them to make them smaller because usually they come bigger than this. So you're gonna get a good bang for your buck. So, oh man, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it like stretches the ice cream because of the marshmallow that's in it. Mm. It tastes like I'm eating melted marshmallows with frozen Rice Krispies. It tastes so freaking good. You can see the chunks of the Rice Krispies just mixed in there with the ice cream. I will say, it's extremely sweet because the Rice Krispie isn't salty, it's just a regular Rice Krispie. So as you guys know, the Rice Krispies aren't salty, but they're not really sweet either. What makes them sweet, the Rice Krispies, is the actual marshmallow that they melt to put and bind them together. So maybe when you add them with ice cream and you add them with the whipped cream, it's a little overly sweet for my taste, but the flavors complement each other so well. Oh my gosh. And then it's just gonna go ahead and take a bite of this big chunk with some of that whipped cream on it. Rice crispy goodness, man. Brings me back to when I was a kid. On the last note, I feel like the ice cream of this place, the way it's set up, the surrounding atmosphere, the tables on the outside and how breezy it normally is when you're here. The name of the ice cream shop, as I mentioned before, is definitely not Twisty Treat because I like this one in specific because of the service that they give. It's really, really good. And the guys here and the ladies here are always really, really friendly when they come when I come by but it is called Chillin' Out Ice Cream. And I think the name has just fits so perfect to the atmosphere that they've been able to build here because of how nice it is and relaxing it is to come here. There's no stress, there's no, it's just super nice. And you just sit down, there's no pressure in leaving, you're outside, you're taking in the sun or you're taking in the breeze, you're watching the cars pass by. It is next to a highway so you can see a whole bunch of different cars coming and going. And it's just, it's just a really good atmosphere to be here. So it's definitely a place that you guys can come visit with your kids. I mean, there's a freaking giant building in the shape of an ice cream. I mean, what else, you know, how, can't get much better than that for kids. So it's a great place to be, guys. Guys, today was a quick video. We just wanted to stop by to get something sweet, something to get ready for this trip that we're going to because of all the food that we're gonna have over in Dubai. Guys, I really appreciate you guys sticking out with us and, and being loyal and coming back every week. And I'm really excited to, to be able to show you this videos from Dubai. You know, um, it's the first time we're ever doing any type of international trip and actually record anything that we're doing when we're internationally in another country. 
So I'm really excited, especially with what's going on now. So it's gonna be kind of, you know, dipping our foot in the water or dipping our toe in the water, really, for what's to come because of the ideas that I have for this channel, the things that I wanna show you and share with you guys outside of Orlando in the future. So hopefully this is the first step for that. But guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys commenting on the videos. Really appreciate you guys checking these videos out consistently every single week. Um, just every single Sunday, just coming on in the morning and throughout the week itself, just watching the videos and, and sharing some of the comments that you have. I, I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot to me. Uh, this was just a dream for me last year. And to be able to actually do it and bring an action, it's, it's really my passion to share the delicious culinary goodness that is Orlando uh, with all of you guys. So. Thank you for following us. Thank you for following this channel. And I'll, guys, I'll see you in Dubai next week. Take care.